So Mr. Murdoch appeared a day after his son, James Murdoch, appeared uh, for questioning as well. Uh, tell us the focus of uh, the inquiry today and, and much of what happened. Well, if you were a student of Rupert Murdoch or maybe an enemy of Rupert Murdoch, today was a very interesting day because the uh, questioners essentially took him through his history in the UK, how he uh, amassed media assets here and the political muscle that may or may not have come with that. And they tried to sort of lay the groundwork for a case that uh, we'll see tomorrow, uh, which, which has to do with whether or not he uh, you know, did some of the things that he's been said to do, using his papers uh, to promote a commercial agenda, calling in political favors, et cetera. Of course, Mr. Murdoch's answer to all of this was he's done none of those bad things that people said about him. He used the word myth many times in describing the uh, sort of bad characteristics that are often attributed to him. One of the allegations is that uh, News Corp was uh, very close with government ministers who were overseeing regulatory reviews of the proposed B Sky B deal. Did most of the inquiry today focus on that B Sky B deal, or were they also focusing on the uh, now closed down News of the World? Uh, what, were, what were they mo mainly um, honing in on? No, I think that will all come tomorrow. The, the hearing adjourned uh, a, a little over an hour ago without getting into that. But today, what happened was the, uh, the questioners essentially sort of set the stage, if you will, uh, for establishing his pattern of behavior, how he approaches politicians, how he has approached regulators in the past. And then tomorrow, I believe you'll see them get into the specifics of phone hacking, the B-Skype B deal, the many things that have been the headlines recently in the last year and a half here. All right, so what happens next, uh, Bruce? This has been an ongoing uh, situation uh, that we've been following. Um, where do you think this goes from here? Well, I mean, immediately, of course, Murdoch will finish up tomorrow. This is causing an increasing problem for the current UK government. Uh, there's this uh, whole thing that came up yesterday about the, uh, you know, whether the company was too close to the regulator overseeing what would have been its, its biggest deal ever. So political problems continue to fall out of that, and those are mounting for the government. This press ethics inquiry here goes on essentially as far as the eye can see. We'll still be talking about this at this time next year, I can almost assure you. And um, in the future, uh, political, some political leaders are going to get up in front of that same panel, including David Cameron, the prime minister.